Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another video, guys. It's been a while. I've missed you. You probably haven't missed me. But here's little Maisie. Come say hello. <laughs> yeah, she says hello. Um, what have I got to do? Lots. Lots has happened. Lots of things to do. The usual shit show of my life. So what has happened is I got an acty from Japan. I'll start off by chucking a clip of that in at the moment and then, yeah. So yeah, as you can see, I got an Acte. It's pretty clean, rust-wise. It's got a few bits of dents and bodywork, but at the end of the day, they're a commercial vehicle in Japan. So that is what it is. Um, annoying thing is, started and drove on, drove it off the truck, cut out, won't start. Turns out there's no spark. So that's a headache. I need to figure out what's going on with that. Um, but that's, that's for another day. Something else I got up to. Um, status error, all the clothes I wear, half of the banners I've got. Um, he's got quite a cool car. I went and shifted that for him the other day. It was getting some work, so it can finally, finally go on the road. So I'll chuck that clip in now as well. Is it an MR2? Is that a Ferrari? You'll never know. Nah, it's pretty sick though. The aero stuff and that on that, and then the air suspension, and what were the wheels? The 14J, I think? Can't remember, but big ass wheels. Um, I actually barely fitted on the trailer, to be fair. The trailer we've got is massive. You can fit Range Rovers and that on, and they're always a good four inches each side, off the side. That was running along the edges. Um, but no, so that's what I've been up to. I've been a bit ill as well, and common riding stuff, if you don't know what common riding stuff is, don't even bother looking it up. You will just be blown away. If you're local, you know what common riding stuff is, it's a big deal, but if you're an outsider, it'll just blow your mind and you'll think we're all weirdos. But no, we're not, we're not, it's just traditional stuff. Riding horses and that, but yeah, anyways, anyways, you're here for the cars, so let's get back to the cars. My beautiful blitz that I got. Um, I've sold them already. Um, to be honest, I tried them on a couple of cars. I tried them on the um, LS430. Tell you what, let's chuck in another clip. So yeah, um, tried them on that. Looked pretty cool, but I just wasn't really feeling them. I've ended up getting offered a car, which I couldn't turn down. Typical Chris. So I've sold them for a bargain of a deal. But 
it's money going towards a good thing. Is it a good thing? I don't know. Tell you what, I'll break the news now. I've bought a Mitsubishi Evo 4 for extremely cheap, like ridiculously cheap for what they are nowadays. Because what are they? They'll be over 10 grand or something anyways nowadays. Um, it's got a few mods on it. It's pretty good rust-wise. Paint works a wee bit blemished than that, but it has one fault. The fuel tank, well, the filler neck's corroded. So a bunch of the rust and craps fell in the tank. So that's basically clogged up. So we've got a good condition second-hand tank and a new filler neck to fit to it. Once that's fitted, it should be sound to go. Um, it's run out of MOT, but it's done no miles since its last MOT, so that'll be sound. But no, um, dream. one of my dream Evos is an Evo 5, but close enough. I mean, it's, like I said, ridiculously cheap. So yeah, but no, that'll be clicking that tomorrow. But you'll need to wait for that video if I actually upload it. But no, that video will be coming, so just bear with me and enjoy this one first. See? Now let's go and fix some cars instead of talking utter crap. This beautiful whip right here. No, this one. Um, if any's watched my last videos, you know I was having issues with the spark plugs that were pretty much cross-threaded. Um, I ended up having to strip it all down, inlet off, and everything to get to the plugs because you can even see where the plugs are. They're away down there. So, like, impossible to get to. So, stripped all that off. Um, I ended up having to run a... I don't know what it is. Run a tap down through it, back out. They were really, really rusty to be fair. There was two of them had kind of slightly cross-threaded. The rest were just tight because of the, the build-up of rust and crap in it. So, thingied all them out, back in, back out. Sound. Got it running again, but it's a bit misfiry. The HD leads are really, really hard up. So, I've ordered some, some of these. Couldn't find any on the shelf stuff, so some companies making me some aftermarket ones. Um, but no, I need to change them up. And then diagnose what was actually wrong with it, because if you remember, I, I just was going to do the plugs, because why not? And the plugs were new, and that's definitely not the issue. I'm thinking it's going to be something like airflow. Um, but no, so what I'm going to do now is see if it'll start, hopefully run enough to reverse into the garage. To be honest, I will be surprised if it can move in under its own power. Right. I really need to get myself a proper camera. Right, are you going to start? Nearly. Kinda, but it's certainly not running on six cylinders. Come on. Nearly, nearly. Come on. Nearly. Yep, yep, we're moving. Trying to avoid stuff while I'll have the foot on the brake and the throttle to keep it going. <laughs> and video. Here we go, we've made it on the ramp. Um, I don't even know what I'm actually doing to this because I am waiting on leads. There's a bunch of vacuums and water pipes I need to go around and reconnect because the pipes are perished and I mean, I think there's even been a mouse in here by the looks of it. So I'm gonna go and do that first. It needs brake pads, they're screeching their head off and coilovers, tell you what, we'll talk about coilovers. The plan is to slam this on a set of, wherever they are, maybe over here, something like this. I've had these for years. They were actually the first set of real wheels I bought, I think, to be fair. Um, <laughs> they're a wee bit hard up. I need a good polish and a good clean, but 15s, I think. So the plan is, if I get this low enough, I can get... I've got a set of SSR Mark 1s as well in 15s. So it'd be quite cool to do a mismatch set on it. The problem with these are the coilovers. The strut is basically part of the hub rather than unbolting from the hub or whatever else. They're basically, they are part of it. So you have to cut the strut. 
sleeve of coil over in and weld it up. I've done it before on my chaser and thing, and it was a pain in the arse, but I mean, it was pretty simple to do. So that's what I need to do for this. Problem is finding coilovers. Gaz do coilovers, but they want you to send you the send them the hubs so they can re-weld it and thing. Um, and that means the cars have to sit on a ramp for probably a month while that was getting done. Oh, RTC. Already got distracted. I've only been here like 10 minutes. These things are so much fun though. Maisie! Maisie! Go and get the car. Get it! 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 It's got no chance against you. I've sneaked away again. I'm going to wash the car. Might as well. It's an absolute state. Um, and then I should probably do something in the garage. Such a cool car. In dire need of some coilovers, though. Um, it's on Bilstein Toyota Super TT shocks and standard springs, but uh, it definitely needs some coilovers. Then I think that'll be about it. And some paint correction where I've done a terrible job painting the bonnet. Doo -doo -doo. Nice and soapy. Back to the graft, eventually. So the plan is all these burst pipes, dodgy old clips, replace them and see if there's any vacuums and then see which leads knackered. Had to bankrupt myself for these. Proper jubilees. These are the finest hose clips in the world though. Yes. Um, where do I start? Hey, well, I'll start with putting oil cap back on that I lost temporarily. Or I have lost one of those. Mint. Well, it's alive. Slightly on fire, but um, it's alive. There's a really funny noise, though. Let's see. The rattle coming from the dizzy. And I was going to try and pop the covers off and look at the timing belt. Because I just have a funny feeling that something might not be right. Um, there's that word again. Um, um, yes, I have found the problem. Probably the problem for it playing up when I was driving it. Because every now and then it would be running okay-ish and then it would act like it's out of time a little bit. And then, fine, let me show you. So here's the timing belt here, yes. And if you look, oh, oh wait, oh no. Can I get the camera in far enough? Watch the belt. Yeah, that look like, look at that. That's like, <laughs> It's like completely loose, like falling off loose. Like, how is that still on loose? Yeah. So that's definitely the problem. I'm just really lucky that it's not snapped, to be fair. Because like I said, when you were revving it up, there was a little rattle coming. That was literally the belt 
flapping against the cover because it's that loose. That's what it was. It was basically bashing on the uh, on the cover. The timing belt itself is very simple. There's literally two pulleys at the top and then the crank, nothing else. But look at all these stupid belts and things in the way. So it's probably going to be a pain radiator out everything to get to it. But it's better that than it being snapped. Can I call myself a mechanic now? Yeah. It's just so funny that I was revving that up like, what? A minute ago in this video, revving it up. And oh, what's that noise? That's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. Literally the belt's like, stop, stop. I'm going to fall off. <laughs> oh, some man. Plus side is, sore though, it needs to sit that low. I need to get some coilovers. I'm a cheapskate. I don't think I'll buy expensive ones. My last Sora I had, which was the same color as well actually, it was a 1J1. Um, I got teen coilovers for just the street basis, street, whatever they were, the cheap ones, and they were terrible. Like, so bouncy. But I definitely need something half decent. What else can I do? Oh, the Aristo. I was doing bits and bobs on that. I was, but I have lost the part I had. Oh, no, it's in the car. My mate Robert's GS, which has been here for months. We stole the engine out of it for that Aristo. And the five-speed box out of another one. Five-speed auto box, unfortunately. But I needed to steal this out of here. Because the other one's only a four-speed, this is a five-speed, and it was one gear out, if that makes sense. So, got that off. And I'm not sure if like the rear brakes and thing on this are the same as the Supra. This has all had brand new brakes before it came off the road, so I might steal them as well while I'm at it. That very sorry-looking Supra. But no, that's probably going to wrap this video up, guys. Um, um, I keep saying that. Dude, stop it. Stay trendy instead. But yeah, I will shut up and finish this video. Thanks for coming back and watching again. You've made it to the end. Well done. And the next one should be the Evo, which I'm going to go and fuel the truck up now and go for in the morning. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.